I prepare the person around me. I go, hey, look, my family is kind of like X and your family is going to be like X. And so like lay that out. Don't let them walk into a hurricane. I think that's one of the worst things that can happen when you're around friends, partners, or in relationships and you get introduced into families and you're like, whoa, what is happening? Um, so prepare them and prepare yourself and prepare your family and say, these are the things that are acceptable and these are not. And if you cross these boundaries, I am leaving. The person with me is leaving. We are going and we're not coming back and we're not going to Christmas and we're not coming to New Year's and we may never talk to you again because ultimately what this all comes down to at the end of the day is two things. One, the agency that you have for yourself for setting boundaries and the things that you want out of community, out of relation, out of being around your family, friends, neighbors, all these people at this time of year. And two, putting yourself in a situation where you are not blatantly hurt, embarrassed, or stepped on, which happens all too often around the dinner table this time of year. So I hope that you have an amazing holiday season. I hope that your family is amazing. I hope that you call that aunt that you haven't called in a long time. I hope that your turkey or your tofurkey or your stuffing, whatever it is that makes you happy, makes you happy this holiday season. And remember that at the end of the day, no matter what, the only thing that we're trying to do is just be happy, is be content, is set our boundaries and be seen and be heard and take up the space that we deserve to take up. And especially if you have been someone who's felt invisible over the course of your lives. Now's your time, and I believe that for you.